Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Malik Arjun here. So uh, here is a quick announcement on one of the database admin activities, what we commonly do. So how we can identify your database alert log. So in this my server, we have a database called DevDB. The DevDB instance is up and running. So I can connect to the database. Oh, sorry for that. So SU Oracle, I'm gonna run this dot INV and then export my SID so I can validate my environmental variable setting. ENV, grep, ORA, DevDB, Oracle Base, Oracle Home is all set. So I can connect to my database, SQL plus SSDB. So connected to my database instance. So now I can simply run a query, select star from diag underscore info. So sorry, V dollar diag underscore info. Select star from V dollar diag underscore info. That's gonna give me a bunch of the directory structure and the name of those directories. So I can format this output set pages thousand lines thousand. I can run the same query select star form with other diag underscore info. I can get some better output now. Still I can format it the name column name format a 50 characters. I can rerun the query again. Right now it is somewhat better. So we're getting proper values now. Now I can say, I can furthermore compress this one, column A, 30 characters. Now I can do just a forward slash and enter. It will re-execute that. Right now the value is much better. Now the name column looks better and I can set the value. Again, column value format A, 60. Let's run it now. Now it's looking better. And then this particular output is taking two line. Instead of 60, I can make it 65. Then that will be perfectly fine. 65. But now everything looks good. So I have this instance ID here. I have name of the directory. I have value. What's the path of the directory? and then container ID. So I don't have a container ID. It's not a PDB or CDB. So what I'm looking is where is my alert log? So for that, I should not go diag underscore alert. My alert log will be always under trace directory. We have to look for this diag underscore trace. Inside that, you have your alert log. So my diag underscore trace is located under this directory here. And if I go to that, I have one more duplicate session. If I go into that directory, if I do ls ltr alert, if I do tab alert devdb.log, this is my database alert log. So this is one of the uh, best practice or the easiest way to find out where is your database alert log. So the other quickest way is like we have in Linux environment locate command or the find command, locate alert underscore devdb.log. If I do this alert underscore, your instance name dot log that going to give you location of your alert log. So it's going to give you multiple names wherever it is placed with this file. So you have to identify which one is your actual alert log. In my case here, use your own app, Oracle, Diag, RDBMS, DevDB, and my DevDB and trace and alert log. This is my database alert log. So either you can use this locate command or you can go to this Diag trace using this command select star from diag with other diag and screen for that going to give you diag trace and that going to take you to the alert log location or there's other way where you can go to your diag location or diag home adr base home so adr base home like you know if i do env grep capital ora that going to tell you that going to tell me oracle base this is my oracle base location if i go into oracle base location inside that you will be having a diag folder so that's your diag directory. So inside that diag, you have a bunch of directories. I'm looking for my database alert log. Database is RDBMS. 
so you have to go for this rd babies if you are looking for your listener log you have to go for your tns listener if you are looking for your asm log you have to go into your asm directory if you are looking for your crs log you have to go into crs log if you are looking for your plsql logs you have to go into that respective directories and if you are looking for your tns or listener or, or rdbms go to that respective directories now i am looking for my database database is rdbms go into rdbms so inside that your database names i have so many databases here in this case i am looking at devdb i'll go into the devdb database unique name followed by your database instance name followed by your trace and then in that trace directory you will be having your database alert log and if i can quickly go to this other directory and then tail hyphen f so if i do any operation inside my database like shutdown startup or any warnings errors whatever it will be it will be reported on my database alert log sql plus slash sdba i can do shut immediate that going to shut down my database here right your database instance is shutting down here right your database dismounted database closed and your database is closed dismounted and instance is shutting down now all the process are going down instance shutdown complete so you are instance shutdown completed if i do startup and the same thing in the database alert log my starting oracle instance allocating all the memory here and it's going to read my sp file here after reading sp file these are the parameters inside the sp file starting all the background process and you can see here your database instance started allocated memory database mounted and database got opened and i can see my database got opened here so that's the quickest way how we can find out your database alert log guys all right that's a quick uh, tip or info for the today let's continue on our tomorrow's session thank you